We are now on Caesar's Camp, or Platrant as the Boers call it, the hill that uh, contained perhaps the key, as far as the Boers were concerned, to capturing Ladysmith. And this is the memorial to all the burghers who died in this area during the Boer War. The Afrikaans inscription and the English inscription. And these are the symbolic hands that are described in the previous panel. And as you can see from here, this point actually looks out over Ladysmith in the valley below. The, the ridge that I'm looking at is Cove Redoubt, where we have been staying, and above it, behind, is Observation Post. The memorial panels that apply to many graves and markers around Ladysmith are all now mounted on this wall of remembrance. This map on this beautiful polished red granite stone is a pretty good indication of where the areas around here are. Cleanse at the bottom, flat round, which is this hill in the middle, Lady Smith above it. Elance Lachter. Itala was a battlefield that I was responsible for rediscovering and getting uh, put onto the historical battlefields tour map. Here's a widow bird. You can just make out the tower of the latest with town hall right in the middle of the picture, hidden by other buildings. I'll go around all the panels and get the names that are listed. Ilan's Lachter, Talana Dundee, Itala we've got. The earliest Spian Corp battle, that's Tabanyama, which is uh, Bastion Hill, uh, Three Tree Hill, etc. In Spian Corp proper on the 24th of January 1900. France, Platrant, which is a battle fought on this hill, Escort Freer Willow Grange and the amazingly few at Colenso. These men lost their lives during the final British breakthrough to Ladysmith, the Peter's position as it's often called. And finally to the bottom. These are the men who lost their lives at the so-called Holkrantz massacre at the hands of a Zulu Impi in May 1902. Prisoners of war who died. Others who died in Natal.
and even here some vandal has had a go at this panel. What a shame. And this one has been completely knocked off. This is the impressive memorial to the 1st Battalion of the Manchester Regiment, and this is on one of the high points on Caesar's Camp above Ladysmith. Ladysmith can clearly be seen in the distance. Major Hudson and these other men were killed in a battle near Dahlstrom in the eastern Transvaal. These men died in the battle at Caesar's camp. These names are not easy to read because some of the lettering has been picked out. And these men died of disease while on service in South Africa. This is a rather overgrown but very well preserved gun pit uh, for a field gun of the 42, 42nd Battery Royal Field Artillery who are up on this hill. This is the protective wall, the pit which has got a fair bit of rainwater in it. Around here is the access point. And opposite to this is the direction in which it was firing. The gun here would cover the area on the horizon, which was all Boer-held land, Boer-held ground. This is the very extensive Manchester fort on Caesar's camp, which was constructed by the Manchesters when they were here during the siege. Ladysmith once again in the background. stones with carvings on down here at the base. G.P. Franklin, NNB, Natal Naval Volunteers, 1899. So we can make out the names of Sutherland. Can't read the other ones. It's Clegg. Gordon could be. S-T-E-R-I Whatever that is. Stain. Oh, Stain. Oh, thank you. Lake. Yes. And there's Ambler and Smith and Thompson. Let's see who's on the last one. There's Roman numeral, numerals 18th. And it looks like Armra, S.M. Truman. There's Power. And there's uh, something. Sot Valby, January 1900. Probably named Sergeant Valby. Sergeant Valby. Could be Lance Sergeant, but uh, definitely looks like an SOT. Beg your pardon, it's an SGT. Lance Sergeant Valby, January 1900. That's a better view of the stone at the base of the memorial. Time to go. Here's another one on another rock. McDermott, Natal Naval Volunteers. November 99. W. Walk. Don't know who he belonged to. It 
We've now moved across to Wagon Hill, and as you can see, this was all restored in 1982. This impressive monument is to members of the Devonshire Regiment who lost their lives in a charge across this area. Looking around here to the right, there's across this flat ground, virtually devoid of trees at the time, that they made their final and successful banner charge against the Boers who were trying to reach the British positions from the ridge across here. This was the most uh, tricky period of the battle, and uh, this charge took place in a, as a heavy uh, thunderstorm broke, and the Boers also were vanquished from the end and fled down the side of the hill. The battle was over. This is a, a relative of Queen Victoria. This monument stands on the highest point on Wagon Hill and is to men of the Imperial Light Horse who lost their lives here. It was here that during the battle, on the 6th of January 1900, the Reverend John Daniel Kestel, Minister of the Harrismith Commando, in great danger and under heavy fire, brought succour to wounded friend and foe alike. A grievously wounded British sergeant said to him, You are preaching a good sermon today. And this was erected at the wish of British soldiers. This is the view from Wagon Hill on to the extremity, which is Wagon Point. Down here there was a gun position and another one being, being made when the Boer attack came up. And uh, Ian Hamilton, with a handful of men, actually struggled up the side from the right and managed to kill or evict the Boers who had got there and drive them off. But it was touch and go and uh, just a stroke of good luck on the part of the British that they were successful here. Looking left from Wagon Point, across the far distant hills, you can clearly make out Spionkop through the distant haze. I'm now standing on, the, on Peter's Hill and looking towards Railway Hill and behind that would be Hart's Hill. In the distance you can make out the cooling towers of the power station at Colenso and the track bed of the old Natal Government Railway which used to run along here. This is the old track bed. With the realignment of the railway this fell into disuse many many years ago but it's still very much evidence. This is where the railway ran. Looking through this cutting towards where Peter's station is and the plain onto which the British disgorged once they'd broken the Boer position along these hills and the Boer armies in total rout uh, retired across here and the siege of Ladysmith was lifted. Swinging to my right is Peters Hill and the monument to Barton's Brigade is just over the crest. Looking back from where we've come is Monte Cristo in the distance and the other hills which are all on the other side of the Tugela River.